Hey there, welcome to my running gear of the year 2022. First, I'm gonna go through some of the gear that impressed, some that didn't impress. I'm gonna talk through what I thought were the best in each of the categories. Finally, I'm gonna review 2022 and set some targets for 2023. I'm making this video because, well, it's that time of the year, time to look back in order to look forward. There's lots of stuff in here, some you'll be interested in, some you may not, but there'll be chapter markers down below and links in the description to all the things that I talk about. So let's roll. I did a lot of running and a lot of reviewing in 2022, and I put links to individual videos down below as well as details on some of the products you'll see. But we'll start with socks. In 2021, I didn't find any newer socks that I like particularly, but this is still my favorite, the On Running Mid Sock. Um, I ran several marathons in them, well, pretty much all of the last number of marathons in them. I have them in white, I have them in red. They're now available in some new colors, blue, and a couple of different ones, depending on male, female. And, uh, but the older ones, there's a white one, uh, the red one, and a brown one, maybe there's another color as well, and they're selling for 10 euro on, if you go onto the on running site, there's a sort of area where they have old, uh, old models, I think it's called, something like that. And uh, yeah, these are really cheap in there. I have 25 pairs of shorts. All of them are flawed. I've never found a pair of shorts that really do what I want to do and <laughs> I really need to take up sewing. Anyway, that I'm only half serious in that. Anyway, I, I, I did buy a pair of shorts that I really love this year. The Killian Jeanette Borgata's new company, N Normal, the men's race shorts. I never got around to reviewing them. I will review them at some stage, hopefully on a short video. Um, supremely comfortable. I bought them for um, my uh, virtual New York marathon, but they didn't arrive in time. Uh, but they're fantastic. They're really good with two <laughs> flaws. There's no zipped pocket anywhere and there's no hoop to attach keys. So that would worry me on a long run where you don't want your keys bouncing out. But they're probably designed for when you're probably wearing a, a, a jacket or other zipped items. So, but supremely comfortable. I made a video that a lot of people watch, lined versus unlined shorts. But in terms of liners, the ones I use all the time are Under Armour ones because there's a pocket down the side for the phone. They come in various lengths, various colors. These are probably the longest ones I have. They're, uh, I love the color. Um, supremely comfortable again. They're really comfortable, uh, quite good compression on them and uh, I wear them all the time. In the last couple of years, I've been transitioning from having a lot of running tights to having some running trousers or running pants. I find them really good. I wear them to work all the time and then come back and go running in them or run home from work. They're really super. And this year I bought, I bought several that I didn't actually get around to reviewing. It's hard to make a big detailed video about one pair of trousers, but I got these, the, the Tracksmith Session Pants in Black. They were 134 bucks and 88 cents. And uh, I got some on running ones for Christmas. I've got some sore ones. I've got some Janji ones and yeah, I'll, I'll test them all, but the Tracksmith ones are supremely comfortable. In terms of tops for racing, my favorite is a sore running vest. I have several versions. I think I ran every marathon in them that recently, apart from in Berlin. Um, really lightweight, really comfortable, no chafing. I just, I just love them. Um, for Berlin, I wore the Tracksmith. There was a Berlin top and it was really nice to just do that. In terms of long sleeves, my uh, recent favorite, again, I haven't reviewed it, is there. It's the On Running Trail Breaker. I have it in black and in, I like bad puns, <laughs> in mango. Uh, so uh, it's actually lovely. I love that color. I just love running in them. I went out yesterday, I think it was five degrees centigrade and 37 kilometers uh, wind, and they were incredibly comfortable. I, went, I think I went in that one yesterday. Um, it's got a sort of DWR finish, so it'll, it'll take a bit of rain on the front. The back is highly vented. It's got little uh, spots so you can see your watch, watches, and it's got thumb grips. I'll, I'll do a short video on them, but it's superb. It's expensive. I think it was $199.99, but on Black Friday, uh, On Running had a two for one offer. So yeah, it's great. Oh, it's also available, I think, in a blue, and there's some really nice colors in the women's. There's a sort of petrol, sort of gray, uh, petrol blue, really nice. Uh, comfortable running jacket. It's winter in Ireland, time for a beanie, the on running merino, and this it's some sort of gray color. They're available in various colors. I never run with the beanie on its own um, because I need, uh, I need to keep the water off my glasses and also the bright sunlight out of my eyes. So I typically have a homemade solution, the cap, and then <laughs> the beanie on top. It's surprisingly effective. I made a video about all sorts of running caps, and um, the one that came after that is the Attain running cap. It's uh, 
super. I'll be buying a whole load more of these. Their new website is due to go up. I'm not sure exactly when, but it's not up to date. And, uh, but I'll be buying a whole load more of these in the new year. It's winter now and everyone's circulating and viruses are going around. So the government here in Ireland have asked us to wear a mask on public transport or in crowded spaces. This is my favorite, the Under Armour lightweight running mask. I have the non-lightweight version, but this is really super. I bought a lot of tech in 2022. Most of it's on that side of the table for filming and audio. Um, the best running tech I got was the Garmin 4Runner 955 Solar. And I also liked it with the HRM Pro strap that I pair it to. In terms of filming tech, the best thing I got this year made a huge difference is this, the GoPro Hero 11. Um, it, it's not that dissimilar to a GoPro Hero 10, but because it'll do 4K more or less square, it made a huge difference to how I go about filming and will make a huge difference for next year. In terms of simple little things, if anyone's interested, I got this, this is the best iPhone mount. I've got three or four different iPhone mounts, but this is the best one, an iFootage one, really, really super. If you're looking for an iPhone mount, this iFootage one is really fantastic. And I saw it yesterday on Amazon. Not on the iFootage site for some reason, it's disappeared off. Just like last year, the one piece of running equipment I can't do without are these. The Ryden Running Project Rudy glasses. These are prescription inserted ones. Uh, I just can't do without these. I could do, you know, with a basic pair of shoes or whatever, but these are singly the one best thing I do. Lightweight, allow me to see, read the watch, see what's ahead of me, all that kind of stuff. I didn't have that many big disappointments in 2022 gear wise. I was a bit disappointed. The SOAR Miners Club is no longer much use in the EU. SOAR do a lot of free shipping if you're in the UK or you're anywhere but the EU for whatever reason. Anyway, that was a disappointment. Tempered slightly by uh, thank you to Gary who pointed out that SOAR running equipment is now on discount in one of Ireland's flagship stores, Brown Thomas. So that was kind of interesting, <laughs> interesting way to look in future if it's if it's there, avoid the shipping lock. Um, the worst way to treat a customer, I thought Adidas and the SCC events from the Berlin Marathon with the fake shoe promise, it kind of annoyed me. Made for a popular video though. Um, and so that was it. In terms of best customer service, I had good customer service all around typically. I mean, I find the, the kind of stuff I buy, I, I don't, need to contact customer service very often. I did send back a Trax Tracksmith pair of shorts. I think that was the last time I contacted customer service anywhere and it was sublime, really fantastic uh, customer service in Tracksmith. That I do remember, but yeah, pretty much good customer service this year. In terms of running experiences, well, I ran four marathons. Um, I hadn't expected to. My first was in Buckeye, Arizona. That was my favorite. I really loved the marathon in Buckeye, Arizona. As somebody called it the Roadrunner Marathon. Really loved it. Um, I'll put a link in the description because I videoed the whole course and all that. And I think it's up again on the 7th of January or thereabouts. And uh, really loved it. You start off and you watch the sun coming up on the Arizona desert. Very, very beautiful. And uh, when you're running a marathon, you have a lot of time to look at that kind of thing. So that was my favorite race. My favorite group run um, was completely unexpected. I went to Zurich to go to a, an academic conference. And I happened to notice that on running were next door or a very short distance away, a couple of hundred yards. And there was a sign saying there was a group run on Wednesday from on running. They've got a, a sort of on-site store. So I went on that and it was really lovely to run down by the river with a bunch of people and really, really great experience. I really, that was my favorite group run. Um, my best run, the run that I was proudest of was one that never made it to camera. Uh, I, I ran from the center of Zurich up to the Flunturn Cemetery where James Joyce is buried. It's 4.7 kilometers all the way uphill. And uh, yeah, I, I planned a lot because I was, I was actually trying to run by places where Joyce had written parts of Ulysses. So I, I, I did that, that was, yeah, when I, when I got up to the top to the graveyard, yeah, the feeling of satisfaction on that one was, was a lot. There was a lot of reading and a lot of running. And uh, yeah, I really loved that one. I did that one uh, sometime in, I think it was August or maybe 1st September. The best performance was in Buckeye, Arizona. That's where I set my personal best. And my most zen run was Athlone to Mullingar, where I kind of did the virtual New York Marathon and I didn't really care where I stopped or went. Or, and I learned a lot about filming. So yeah, I had a lot of really great running experiences. Oh, I should mention the park run. There's another two soon. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed learning about my local park runs. So that was kind of the best running experiences of 2022. Let's talk about shoes. And first of all, I'll talk about the two that disappointed me the most. And they both came from Adidas. There was this, the Adidas Adistar. It's a great shoe in a lot of ways, really comfortable to put on, but 
the sole is really firm it's a really firm shoe um, so that I haven't run in it very much um, just because of that um, the other one was the Adidas Prime Strong X Prime X Strong that I ran the uh, um, virtual New York Marathon in simply because they, they sort of failed on me I like the shoe but they kind of failed on me so that was a disappointment they got sent back um, the most surprising the two shoes that I found surprising how, how much I enjoyed running in them one was this the Atreyu trail shoe um, I've been running in this a lot and when I when I reviewed it um, I, I enjoyed it I think I got hung up too much about the, the price of it because it was it, it sort of moved up a price point from Atreyu's usual shoes but I've been running in it actually an awful lot I find it very comfortable underfoot and at this time of year I need a lot of grip so I'm actually putting a lot of uh, kilometers into those it'll be one of my shoes of choice in not very nice weather like we have today the other shoe that I ran in a huge amount hadn't expect well I expected to run a huge amount in this but didn't expect to enjoy these as much as I have this is the on running cloud neo it has been it's, a, it's an unusual shoe um, clearly I've I've uh, you know a white shoe in win in winter but uh it um it's it's very it's got a very interesting ride i always find when i go out in it i go quicker than i expected i always there's something about the shoe that makes me roll along a lot quicker whether it's because there's a sort of feel good factor of, of it's a, a very environmentally friendly shoe to use a phrase um, but i just like the way it rolls along the only tricky part of it is that it hasn't got great grip so I can only run in winter, I'll only run on, in the daytime um, so I can see where I'm going. And if it's very wet, then I can't run in them. But they're a really comfortable shoe. Something about the way it rolls is uh, actually lovely. And to me, it will be my shoe of the year. A great surprise. I'm still working through the subscription. There's, a, I think there's 130 kilometers on the shoe at the moment. So I'm hoping to get to 300. So a bit of running left in them yet. So what does 2023 hold? Well three more marathons. <laughs> I hadn't really planned that. I planned the New York marathon later in the year and then somebody suggested I run the Jack and Jill marathon in Washington in July. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll do that. And then I'm sort of going to, um, I think an academic conference in Antwerp and it ends the day before the Rotterdam marathon, which is maybe less than an hour away by train. And so I signed up for the Rotterdam marathon. So <laughs> training begins today. Um, I'm going to be doing more park runs. I really enjoyed it. I did it again the other day. I'm going to try and set a personal best in the park run at some point in time this year. I'm going to try and do more outdoor running. I, it, it kind of separate project. I'm going to do more James Joyce related filming. So I've got a lot of equipment that I'm trying to use to test to make, basically make better running videos. But yeah, three marathons. Uh, you never know what will come in the way and uh, some more park runs. In terms of shoes for 2023, I'll definitely be getting the Brooks Hyperion Max. That goes on sale officially on the 1st of January. I've actually seen it on sale in Dublin, but um, not in my size. But that is the first shoe I'm gonna test and probably later on in the year, I think they also bring out the Hyperion. So I'm looking forward to comparing those to the wonderful Brooks Hyperion Tempo. I'm possibly gonna try the Asics Nova Blast 4 I the three arrived out at a time that didn't suit filming so I didn't go with the three and I'm still kind of interested in it but but uh, not hugely um, I'm definitely going to get the Vaporfly 3 whenever that comes out I would love if on running brought out another cloud venture waterproof 3 I have the previous version and the previous version before that and I walk in them every day and they're getting pretty bashed up um, because I really walk a lot and, and put a lot of miles into them so I'm looking forward to another pair of those because I've really enjoyed making videos of those before and if they don't launch one I'll get something else there's a Nike are bringing out a cross country shoe a ZoomX Ultrafly I'm looking forward to that I did want to get the Speedland GS Tam I think it's called but it's hard to order from Ireland it's, it's an expensive shoe to begin with and then you'll have to pay shipping and then duties on top of it so probably won't be running those but other ones will pop up throughout the year that catch my eye and fit the schedule or there could be ones that you know suggest a way and uh, usually uh, try and get something in and give it a whirl my plan for 2021 had been just to get through it my plan for 2022 was to get through it uh, uninjured i did sort of i i did see a surgeon for my knee but I didn't need surgery. Uh, it was it was great, and the combination of self management and my Nike Invincible Flyknits sorted my knee out. It was great, and uh, I did tempt fate. Sometime I had a 
uh, frozen shoulder last year and I said I said oh well you know um, <laughs> maybe I'll get it on the other shoulder which is not far from what's happened I've got a shoulder injury but but it's okay yeah as long as I've got injuries to my shoulders it's not hurting the legs so yeah 2023 20, goal I turned 60 <laughs> See me, I get to March. Uh, I turn 60, so I'm hoping to get faster. Obviously, I'm going to get better age performance wise, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, get a little bit faster in 2023. And of course, just like every year, I want to make better videos. I want to make them more interesting, technically better. I want to be better at technical analysis. I want to do make them more fun and I suppose overall more engaging. I mean, I suppose fun for you, fun for me. If I can do that, that would be something. Um, I've got a bit more equipment coming. I made a lot of uh, videos this, or not a lot. I made a few videos this year, shorts videos, the 60 second ones. And um, I wanna try and make more of those. They take a lot longer than they look, um, but I'm trying to get some new equipment for some different workflows. So probably make more of those, but hopefully make more engaging videos in 2023. And I kind of make the videos because the videos kind of force me to go out running and then the running forces me to make the videos and there's a sort of loop in there that I really like but the real thing that keeps me going is all the people who watch and who comment and uh, even, even the ones that don't go that well it's they're really good because they, they influence you and they sort of make you make decisions that hopefully will get you making better videos but yeah um, thanks to everybody who uh, who watched anything or commented I was a huge amount of fun in 2022. So here's to 2023. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff down in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and some great videos there. Thanks for watching. Until this time next year, just keep running along.